Most health advice focuses on what to eat, but very few people talk about how your body actually uses that food. And that's where Lumen comes in. I've been using this for about two months to track my metabolic flexibility, which is basically my body's ability to switch between fats and carbs for fuel. So today I wanna to share everything I've learned, my experience using Lumen, and whether I think it's worth it. And while Lumen did send me their device to review, you know the drill if you've seen any of my other reviews on my channel, all of my thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. So let's get into it. First, we need to talk a little more about metabolic flexibility, which again is your body's ability to switch between burning fats and carbs for fuel, depending on what it needs. Ideally, you wake up burning fat, then switch to carbs after a meal. And maybe you shift back to burning fat between meals or during a light activity. But why does this matter? Metabolic flexibility basically equals adaptability. And the more adaptable your metabolism is, the better your body is able to handle shifts in activity, diet, and stress. On the flip side, metabolic inflexibility, so being stuck in one fuel burning mode, that's been linked to things like insulin resistance, diabetes, obesity, and various chronic conditions. And I like to think of it this way. So if we think about a fire, carbs are kind of like kindling. They burn fast and hot. Fat is like a log, it burns slow and steady. You want your body to know how to use both fuel sources, and Lumen helps you track how well your body is doing that. And it helps you track patterns so you can improve your metabolic flexibility over time. And just to be super clear, burning fat does not mean that you are losing fat. You may be burning fat and gaining weight if you are in a caloric surplus. You could be burning carbs and losing weight if you're in a caloric deficit. And this video is not about weight loss. It's about understanding your metabolism. Let's get back to talking about Lumen. Out of the box, you get the Lumen device, a charging stand with a USB-C cable, a little travel pouch, and an instruction guide. The device itself looks and feels very high quality, and honestly, that magnetic cap is a small detail that really makes this feel like a premium product. And setup is simple. You download the app, you connect Lumen via Bluetooth, you create your profile, and you're ready to go. The app guides you through how to do your breath readings properly, and basically, you inhale through the device, hold your breath, and then exhale back into the device. It'll analyze the carbon dioxide in your breath and it'll give you a score from one to five. One means you're burning mostly fat and a five means you're burning mostly carbs. But then everything else falls in between. We're gonna talk more about the app and all of its features later, but first I wanna share my actual experience using Lumen. Lumen has been really easy to integrate into my daily routine. The whole process, so opening up the app, turning on the device, doing the reading, and waiting for the results, takes about a minute. And the app recommends several ideal times to do these check-ins. So first thing in the morning when you wake up, before and after meals or workouts, when you're fasting, and before bed. But you can also do a custom reading whenever you want. I keep my Lumen on my bedside table and on my desk as that visual reminder. And while I have not been perfect at doing all of the check-ins throughout the day, I have been very consistent doing the readings right before bed and when I first wake up. But my results early on were confusing. I'd wake up and I would regularly get a score of three, which meant I was burning both fats and carbs. Now ideally, first thing in the morning, you wanna be scoring a one or a two, that you're mostly burning fat. I started playing around with my diet a little bit and you know, for instance, I would try having more carbs first thing in the morning and limiting the amount of carbs at night, but I was still getting threes. Honestly, it was a little frustrating. But here's one of my biggest takeaways, and I've known this, but it really sunk in. Your metabolism doesn't just magically reset every 24 hours, and it's affected by more than just what you eat. It reflects all sorts of things, and it's cumulative. So certainly what you've eaten over the last few days, your stress levels, how well you're sleeping, how much you're sleeping, hormonal fluctuations, how much you're moving. The body is really complicated. <laughs> For example, stress alone can put your body into carb burning mode, even if you're not eating that many carbs. And it kind of makes sense in like a caveman sort of way. If you're running from danger, you want that quick access energy that you get from carbs. Also, just because you didn't eat a bunch of carbs today doesn't mean you're not still burning those stored sugars from carbs that you ate the day before or even the day before that. And I'll admit, I'm not tracking macros right now, so I could absolutely be underestimating the amount of carbs I'm eating. But now that I've been using Lumen consistently for about two months, my readings have started to line up more consistently with what I expected. 
I also think Lumen's algorithm improves the more you use it and the more data you feed it, especially if you're giving it information like what you've been eating, when you're eating, you're logging your workouts, you're feeding it more information about you so it can learn you better. I also realized that I wasn't getting the most accurate readings in the first few weeks, and this is 100% my fault. So Lumen recommends that you sit down and let your heart rate settle before doing a reading. And if it detects any movement leading up to the reading, it'll give you a timer so you can, you know, like, settle. But I didn't follow these instructions, and anytime I got one of those timers, I would just override it and figured, good enough. But not surprisingly, once I started following Lumen's instructions, my results started making a little more sense and they were starting to line up with what I was expecting and they were getting more consistent. And that consistency really helped me shift into the mindset of looking at trends rather than just chasing anomalies. Let's talk about the app because it's a big part of the Lumen experience. So you get a free month of the premium version and after that you can choose to either use the free version where you just get basic readings or pay a monthly or annual fee for full access. The paid version of the app gives you access to all sorts of stuff. Daily and weekly trends, your flex score, which is basically a measure of your metabolic flexibility, nutrition recommendations, meal planning tools, recipes, and lifestyle tips. Personally, I don't really follow the app's nutrition recommendations. It'll often recommend eating a lower carb diet if you score anything other than a one or a two, but that doesn't always work well for my body. Also, if you're tracking macros and you have certain macro goals, it looks like you're only able to customize your carb goals for the day. When I've tracked macros in the past, my main focus was getting enough protein into my diet. And I know there are tons of people who are in the same boat. So only being able to set carb goals feels really limiting and it doesn't feel like a holistic approach. I do like that they have recipes and meal ideas, but I honestly haven't found myself using them. The best part about the paid version, in my opinion, and for what I'm using Lumen for, is access to your historical data and your flex score. And your flex score basically interprets all of your data and helps you understand your metabolic flexibility. But as you get more comfortable using Lumen and you start to understand your readings and how to take action on them, you can definitely get by without the paid version of the app. It's a nice to have, not a need to have. And if you still want to capture historical data and look for trends, which you cannot do in the free version, you can always track your Lumen scores in a spreadsheet. But with any sort of device that captures data, it's important to ask yourself, what am I actually going to do with this information? How will this data inform my decision making? Where I do use Lumen as a decision making tool is around workouts. So I used to assume that I needed to consume carbs so something like a banana before an intense workout. But now I'll use my Lumen before a workout and if I score like a four or a five and I'm burning carbs, I don't need to consume more carbs. I'm good to go. And that's eliminated a lot of assumptions and guesswork. I'll also use it if I want to extend my morning fasts. I'll check in with Lumen about once an hour to make sure that my scores are staying consistent. So I'll want to stay in that one to two range. But if I start to see my score increase, then I know it's a good time to break my fast. Something I started paying more attention to is how my menstrual cycle and my hormones affect my metabolism. Lumen actually shared some research that shows that you tend to burn more carbs during the first part of your cycle, so leading up to ovulation. And then after ovulation in the luteal phase, you tend to burn more fat. I've started to see hints of this in my own data, which is kind of cool, it's really interesting, but it makes me think that Lumen would be really, really helpful for people who are navigating perimenopause and menopause. While I'm currently not in that stage of my life, eventually I will be, and this is definitely something I'm going to want to investigate further. Overall, I'm really surprised how much I like Lumen. I'm so impressed with the device and the app's user experience. Everything just feels very high quality and it's, it's a premium experience. But this is not a beginner tool. If you're new to health, fitness, or nutrition, you're way better off starting with the foundational habits. So eating more whole foods, getting regular movement, prioritizing sleep, and managing and even reducing stress. But all of those things are easier said than done. Once you've built those habits and you wanna fine tune your approach or explore how your metabolism is affected by various habits, that's where Lumen can be really beneficial. 
At the time of filming, Lumen is currently 349 US dollars. That does include a free month of the premium version of the app, but if you want to continue using the premium version, that's an additional cost. So there's no doubt that Lumen is an investment. It is expensive. But if you're someone who's curious about your body and you wanna use Lumen as an educational tool and ultimately improve and sustain good metabolic flexibility, Lumen may be worth it. But one caveat, it is really easy to get caught up in chasing numbers. Just ask anybody who has had a bad relationship with their bathroom scale. Do not stress if your body is not always burning fat. That's not the point. And remember, you want your body to be able to switch from burning fats and carbs when it makes sense. It's about trends and patterns, not perfection. Don't let Lumen dictate your diet. Let it inform your choices. With all that said, the company was kind enough to provide me with a discount code to share with you in case you're interested in trying Lumen out. And I also wanna give a huge thank you to them for letting me test this out. This has been such a positive experience and Lumen has just become so ingrained into my daily routine. I really look forward to using it and will continue to do so. And thank you for watching this video. It means more than you know, and I've picked out a few others I thought you might be interested in. So I will see you in the next one.